Well, it is a slow start to this week. Hi, <laughs> I'm Michelle Patterson with Angel Souls, and I already picked out the cards. We're going to go through it. The first card that we have here for our message is Clear Your Space. If you watched the video I put up last week, I believe, if I remember correctly, this came up then as well. So this is Archangel Jophiel, beautifying your life, but it's not going to be in an outward way. Okay, this is what people don't like. Get rid of clutter, clear the energy around you, and use feng shui. We were talking last time about how, you know, there can be energy attachments to objects. So, you know, go through your home, anything that's not bringing you happiness or maybe it was gifted to you by somebody who once was very abusive or what have you. I believe in the act of giving, it clears the any bad energy off of that object. And keep in mind too, like, you know, something may trigger your memories, but the, another person's not going to have those same associations with that object. And it might be very helpful for them. The other thing, too, is to clear the clutter around your thinking. If you're hung up on a past situation, you're hung up on an ex, you know, something like that, you don't have to torture yourself. You don't need to struggle. You can allow yourself to just be at peace. And then that takes us right into this prioritize card. Prioritize yourself. So when you find that an old situation is popping up and you're starting to get stressed out get back to you and you can even use this as an affirmation I prioritize myself in this moment I prioritize myself now and see what that does for you now this is Metatron so Metatron about so many different things but <laughs> but he's all about the Merkaba your your um, the vehicle of the soul basically and your energy field and helping you understand you know your path and Organizing your time, studying, all of that. Akashic records, sacred geometry, like I said, a lot. And this says focus your, excuse me, focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. Make yourself the priority. And maybe this is just needing a break, right? Before maybe something else shifts and changes or something that you are trying to make happen may need a little bit more time. So if you see, there's like a build up here. It's like work on yourself. Give yourself some time and space. Is this Joe? Oh, we have two Joe files here. Here's Joe file again. <laughs> okay. Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. So don't be in a rush. Don't be in a hurry. Okay? <laughs> when you are doing your spiritual work, some spiritual clean out, um, you know, that takes a little bit of time for your energy field to then catch up to that and adjust. But I'll tell you right now, this will clear your space. Maybe you're just not taking, like, like, I don't know, like you're just not allowing people to get to you the way maybe they had in the past. You're not taking... I'm hearing like not taking their opinions as stop signs. So I know what that means. So like, you know, there's like haters out there, people who are jealous of you and they're constantly throwing that your way. And maybe this for some of you has made you want to play small or it's made you play victim, whatever it is, it's taking away your power. And so maybe you say, no, nope, I'm shifting. I'm shifting. That's no longer going to be uh, something that I put a lot of focus on. Okay. And focusing on nurturance, okay? So this card says nurture. It's Archangel Gabriel who's all about that. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. So it is really imperative for you to have some downtime right now to let some stuff go on out. I'm getting the disgusting image of a clogged up kitchen sink, Okay, like you got to clear away the junk <laughs> so everything can flow on out. And then there might be some cleanup afterwards. That's kind of where the patience comes in as well. So it's not, you can't treat your spiritual practice and your spiritual growth like a formula. I know we do that in the 3D world. But, you know, if I do this and this, I should have this result, right? Wrong. <laughs> okay, you may be going through all the steps. You're supposed to be enjoying the journey as you go through that so enjoying a bit of peace enjoying a little bit of a release uh, having your clear thinking new ideas come in all of that it's not just to get somewhere to get to the conclusion 
So then we have Mother Mary here, which is very interesting because here's Gabriel with nurturance. Mother Mary represents the divine feminine, compassion, love, think the heart space, letting, you know, imagine letting all of your uh, negative feelings, giving them a chance to just go, <laughs> all right, to just be clear, to be a clean slate and feel like you're loved all along in that process. So Gabriel and Mother Mary, you might know, they, they're they associated with one another. And this really, really, really does say it, it's time to open your heart. Look at how they have their hands up to the sky. They're nice and open, right? It's okay to let things go. Because sometimes we hang on to that one. We're used to the struggle. And two, we want to keep an eye on it. Right, so we'll hold on to the negativity so we can keep control of it. That's why some people keep, uh, and I did this for the longest. I had a very, I would call them a dangerous ex who I thought about all the time, not because I loved him and wanted him back. I was scared of him. I thought he was going to pull something. And I, the attention, oh my gosh, the attention I put into that to make sure I was safe Yes, and that's important. Be diligent always. But at some point, I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring that energy back into me. I'm going to nurture myself. I need to recover from what I went through in that. So, you know, uh, again, the same kind of idea if you're hung up on why a circumstance happened, right? It goes back to that. You're not taking care of yourself. You're, you're spending your energy in a way that's not going to help you get any further along. Now, that's easier said than done. So what do you do? Well, we're all learning together, I guess. But um, one of the things that I like to do is let myself feel what I'm feeling. If I'm having a bad day, let myself have a bad day. And then I remind myself, I don't have to do anything right now. Nothing has to be done right this second. And just reminding myself of that, like I don't have to have my whole life figured out right now. Right. Uh, and then just just that little brief moment of a break. I handle the next thing with love and care and I try to find joy in it. I don't care if I'm folding laundry. I don't care if I have to pay bills or whatever. Try to find the joy in doing that. And one thing at a time. See, taking life in little steps. And even if your mind is flipping around, obviously, as I always say, these are not uh, these videos are not a replacement for therapy. So if you do have anxiety or depression, make sure you're getting the proper support. But spiritually speaking, you can just allow yourself to have a time out. To have a time out, you hear people say, well, you just need to stop and breathe. Yeah, but also reminding yourself if your mind is still flipping, going, I don't have to worry about any of that right now. None of that has to be addressed right this second. Okay, and giving yourself a little... A little space, a little grace. Oh, I rhymed. <laughs> and a moment for peace. So, angelsouls444.com if you guys would like a personal reading with me. And always check out the description box because I have lots of upcoming live events where we can speak face-to-face. -face. You can ask me your questions and they're always a good time. So, we'll leave it there for now. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.